Good morning everyone. Here's an update about the anemone issue in the time. So let's get on with it. Oh plus um, we're gonna add more bacteria and I have a new gadget. I'll show you later. Okay. Okay, both anemones are not looking good. The small one is really sick. I think it's it's not doing very very well. And then this one, the healthy one, is being hammered. It was hammered by the torch coral uh, two days ago. So I went to sleep in the morning. Uh, it's still there and more bruises around the ring outside on the top bit so i just removed it put it in a rock on the other side so here is how it looks like now it's recovering hopefully it bounces back and yeah it's brown no color uh, got some bruises all around so hopefully it will recover and here we go so thank you from charter house aquatics we've got um uh, bacteria additive so these are good bacteria um i'm doing this in preparation for my tank because i'm going away for a couple days so i bought an auto feeder as well and right away out of the box i dosed uh, waste away and doctor teams one and only to boost the bacteria inside the tank good bacteria inside the tank so right off the bat when I put this one the waste away you know the return pump um, it was making a bit of noise already and then um, after a few hours of this one it went silent so that means um, it is really working taking out the gunk on the filters on the skimmer and maybe around the pump as well on the impeller so it's really good and after that there's just loads of flying debris all around so yeah it really does work which is good so the waste away is a blend of bacteria that eats the sludge inside your tank so it's a good way of getting rid of sludge and this one is the one and only Dr. Tim's one and only it's a blend of good bacteria usually used to cycle the tank but it's also good to reintroduce bacteria from time to time every water change and then this one the refresh this one is also a blend of bacteria that cleans your water column and um, cleans the film on your glass like our um, debris film that um, sticks to your glass inside and then this one finally got the lens well um, I've seen a lot of people using this one on YouTube, so I think it will be, uh, be good for filming the tank as well, for, your, for my viewers' eyes, for you guys. For us to enjoy a good quality video, isn't it? So yeah, let's open it up. Inside the box, you're gonna have the clip and three lenses so the clip it's 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 plastic and inside the clip when you you know in between the clip is rubberized so inside the one that goes that clips onto your phone is all rubberized so which is good and it uh, puts it in place as well as you can see it's rubber all rubber around it 
and then on the other clip as well it's rubber so yeah and then there's a screw screw thing that one so every lens you can screw it in so the first one is um it's a lens i mean um if it's like a magnifier if you want to see your corals up close this one is the um amber lens and yellow lens for 20,000 k lighting let's try it out later and this one the last one this is the amber lens for 15k lighting i don't know what that means <laughs> but whatever looks good on the camera with this lens that's it we're gonna use it and if you are using this one as well um please let me know what your suggestions and which ones you which which lens you like best and which lens you like to use every time to capture pictures or videos in your time all right let's see let's put it on and there's a you can screw it in it's like a you know those uh, fancy camera lenses that you attach then you just clip it on and you can you can already see the big difference isn't it unlike before it's just blue every every video i take is all blue everything blue but here the color of the corals are popping out there you go so those that that that's the amber one as you can see there's a big difference isn't it so the blue is taken away so this is the this is how it looks like without the lens and let's try out the other one so it's easy just screw it in you can take it out and then put the other one change lenses at least um we've taken all the blues away with with this one and in future videos will be much more better looking i think hopefully and we'll get more likes and subscriptions after that maybe hopefully i wish and of course if you haven't subscribed yet just click the subscribe button on the right lower right part of the screen and this one is easy it's easy to use you can actually um, well you can use it to other other um, application as well other than your tank or aquarium isn't it so this one is the amber and yellow lens mm. it's a lot brighter isn't it yeah it is a, a, a little bit more brighter than the other one but Hmm, can't really tell the difference. I think I I like the other one better, the amber.
so if, if you have tips and tricks on how to get more videos using your phone with these lenses just let me know okay and I'll thank you in advance for that one and the last lens is so uh, basically it's a magnifying glass my phone just can't focus focus enough I don't know it's 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 not really focusing properly it's a bit blurry isn't it and then um i tried to to get a close-up video and it's a little it's still a little bit blurry maybe i was shooting at an angle or and then yeah as you can see here it's okay and I tried to add <laughs> try to add the amber lens with the magnifying glass but magnifying glass but it doesn't fit only one at a time but magnifying glass plus the amber lens is it's good look at it isn't it do you agree so just give me a thumbs up if you agree and thank you for watching this i think this video is this one is is more than more than the minutes that i've been making videos and then let's try it all again i wasn't i wasn't happy so um i think i used the amber lens on this one you can see my acan three heads at the back hammer torch still extending too much there they are um anemones are just tucked away in that corner on that rock gsp they are not extending much as well i don't know why but if you have um the same problems if you have solved it solved it already just let me know how you make your GSP extend their polyps again because um, before they're they're like a grass I mean waving like huge huge grass this one sorry also I have a question do different varieties of mushroom fight each other as well and as you can see a while ago a while back if you rewind it so my recordia and the furry mushroom is fighting each other i think because they are both showing signs look look at this one they're showing signs of um um discoloration on the part where they're touching together so please guys let me know if um, i've made a mistake there i put them too near together I didn't know that um well they're both on the mushroom family so I thought they're they're gonna be friends but I think they're not friends now so yeah I'm liking the amber one this is the amber one so I did water change it's the third week so I think I, I can get away um for three weeks plus auto feeder which i bought we're gonna make another video of that one the refugium is doing well i i'm seeing more spaghetti sprouting out on the on the big chunk i put in there you can see also some copper but copper pods i dosed last time as well and i've got three three little trochus snails which is a good sign that means um they're breeding 
um i'm not sure if they're gonna breed a lot so if you have trochus snail or banded snails anyone who have experience having them like a population explosion of trochus snails just let me know because um my wife's getting worried <laughs> when i showed her these three three trochus snails and she she's she was um, concerned that they're gonna overrun the tank but we can sell them for extra credit isn't it i'm still doing i'm still dosing no pox as well one meal every day and it's keeping my nitrates at four parts per million and nitrates on 0 0.06 so i think i'm happy with that parameter and thank you so much for watching see your reef keeper soon cheers bye bye